all right guys what's going on today we're going to be looking at a video that you know it's not for the faint of heart but it when i saw it i it just pissed me straight off you know i was just looking at the video and i was thinking damn man there's some sick people out there i was fuming i was livid i couldn't believe what i was watching you know i was looking at that person i was thinking why the hell did your mother not swallow you why the hell did your father not use a condom the night you were almost well successfully conceived if your father had put a little bit of effort in like just trying to wrap something up around his tool you wouldn't be born a mistake like you wouldn't be born um i don't know whether you guys are aware of but there was like a story on the internet about an australian jockey punching a horse it's pretty not for the faint of heart you know i was just looking at the video and i thought what the hell i mean why the hell would you want to do that i mean just take a look at the video yourself okay so obviously after it was made public that this fine gentleman jumped off a horse and jumped off the back of a horse and just like punched it in the ribs i mean like what the actual hell you five foot freaking midget i mean you must be shorter than tom cruise i would drop kick you if i wasn't afraid of my kick going over over your head i mean what the actual hell i mean what is the horse supposed to do like write a complaint to your hr oh no wait horses cannot do that hold on a second let me do a little bit of background research on this guy just hold on a second right okay according to bbc news uh the guy the jockey's called uh Dylan Kaboch I, I don't know whether I'm butchering his surname or not but actually honestly I do not care this guy just annoyed me apparently the horse was having trouble going into the starting line and he just like god jumped off the horse and just like punched it in the ribs like what the hell So according to the news article on BBC he actually issued like an apology notice and I think he had a he had a two week suspension for misconduct over the incident in Port Lincoln on Wednesday um and to be very honest two week suspension is not even that much and after two weeks he's going to be back on the race course he'll be earning money and everything however i mean like yeah it's not enough okay i mean it's a good thing that he got caught but imagine if the cameras had not focused on him imagine if nobody saw what happened i mean if, who knows what kind of stuff actually goes on in the stables and if he just got off and just punched it in the ribs imagine what other people are doing i mean seriously we, there needs to be a longer length of the penalty i mean 2 weeks is not enough there has to be at least 2 months and oh then and only then people will start behaving themselves be- behaving themselves i mean this this just ain't happening i mean Uh, I'm 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 no like I, I don't have any pets or anything but I just hate it when people treat animals like that you know these animals they just deserve our love and people just treat them like shit I mean this this is not happening okay not on my watch this guy I mean if you look at his apology video did you look at it I want to generally sincerely and I'm reservedly I'm pol- to apologize to everyone for my actions yes- yesterday I understand what I did was completely unacceptable My apology goes to the horses connections, my fellow jockeys here in South Australia and jockeys national wide. Okay, I got nothing against Australians over here, but bloody hell man, you got some really weird accent. And did you just look at the guy's face? He looks like an animal abuser by, from his face. I mean, look at those eyebrows. I'll spit on those eyebrows. <coughs> But anyway, I just wanted to bring this little video to your attention and uh, I really 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 got me going. I'm uh, uh, Okay, I got to calm down. I got to maintain my composure a little bit, maintain a little bit of professionalism, but yeah, there you go. Usually I write a script and I stick to that script, but this one I just I just looked at the video and I thought, "What the hell? I need to make a video on this." So, Mr. Dylan Kabooch Next time I see you in a horse or just remember I spat on your face. Anyways, that uh anyways that's all for today guys. Um all in all just uh, if you got a pet animal or something I I I hope you guys treat it with care. But you know what? We we got to take a stand against idiots like him seriously. This this is this kind of behavior should not be accepted. Uh anyways, thanks a lot for listening. I uh, 
Anyway, thanks all for listening, guys. I hope you guys have a nice day. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, just uh, hit the subscribe button. And I hope I see you guys around. Peace out.